exactly how the head is supposed to go with your body in the rotational throws. You think it's funny? In this video, what we're going to discuss is the head go ahead. Does it stay center? Does it stay back? What do we do? Where does it go? What's its path? We're going to talk about it in this video, so check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation, and in today's YouTube video, one of the things we're going to talk about is the path of the head and relation to it with the hips. What you want to pay attention to is the head is always following the hips. Recently, we had up a video called The Focal Point. We're talking about that big head stalls and those kind of jerky head movements that you get with a lot of those focal point cues. We want to just kind of clear up that the best throwers in the world, their head follows the hips. It's the most important thing. Just like a sprinter is going to take off. You don't see any sprinters with their head turned to the side or their heads moving, right? Elite sprinters have that head really on and that's the same thing. We're creating a sprint and we just have a rotational movement to it in the discus and the rotational shot. And then the glide is where when the hips are going to be opening, keeping the head back is going to be a little different because it's a linear delivery, not a rotational delivery. So it's very different mechanics and that's why the head position can stay very different. Here in the rotational throws, when we're looking at the discus or the shot put, the thing is, is we want that head always moving with the hip. We get into our setup and we're in our pillar one and we're getting our start. You notice that most elite throwers, they're going to be moving over into this position. And again, stylistically, everybody's going to be a little different mechanically. I will always argue that they're all pretty much the same. We always love to see people argue about different things. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but what we're saying is, is that core mechanics are the same. Are there nuanced differences in the style that have an influence on mechanics? Yes, absolutely. But the core position, the six pillars of the throw are going to remain the same for all throwers at the elite level and all throwers period mechanically because physics is physics. So one of the things we're talking about with the head is we're going to be here and as we turn here and we begin the throw, you're going to notice all your elite throwers, the head is following the hips. This is the path of the hips. So when I get to this point and I get to this point, and I'm getting to this point and you're seeing that that's where the hips are. This is where the hips are. This is where the head is. And the head is always connected to the hips. And once the hips are facing here, you see the head staying again with the hips. What you are going to notice, this is a really simple tip, but this avoids getting into like that rear focal point or the, or the notion that the head is going to stay with the chest. Now, if the hips are moving here and the chest is here, that's a disconnect. So one of the things we're gonna do is that you'll notice, you know, if people that are trying to maintain the head with the chest, the trunk rotates in thoracic spine, right? The middle of your back. And so what you wanna do is when we're rotating here and everything's staying here, that's where you're creating the tension. If you turn the head and keep it here, you're going to change how the tension feels in the in the body. Now, there's a difference. If you're doing it in the shot put, there's a little bit more room for forgiveness because you have the implement sitting on top of you. So it's almost, it's very difficult to not keep the head here, but you're gonna keep, everything's gonna be moving with the hips easier in the shot because the implement's here. But in the discus, you have the double separation, shoulders, hips, arm, shoulder, and so if you turn, you start to change and you'll start to influence and change that separation and stretch reflex, and that's a negative. So real simple cue today, when you're looking, look at the best throwers in the world. All the greatest throwers in history is that that head is always moving into, around and in the middle and through, and I don't think you'll find any coach that will disagree that you shouldn't pull your head off at the finish. It's the same principle. We shouldn't pull our head off at the start, the middle, or the finish. So if it's wrong at the finish, it's gonna be wrong all the way throughout the throw. And it's a really simple thing to keep in mind. So as you throw, don't rip the head. So there's a point, it can't stay here. It's gonna follow ahead, but that's where my hips are at the point of delivery, right? So when we talked about our block leg and our block arm and everything's coming through, that's where my hips are facing. So that's why my head's here, my head isn't here and I certainly don't want my head back, and I don't want my head in the middle of the throw 
just staying here. Let's look at three of the best discus throwers. Let's look at Peter Melichowski. Let's look at Robert Harding. Let's look at Gerd Cantor. Look at where their head goes, right? Their head is moving throughout the entire throw. Perkovich is a prime example as well. One of the most dominant female throwers. And yes, some of you commenting below, I think she's the best ever because of her style or technique or consistency. Okay, so thanks so much for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment below with future things you would like to see and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.